We're here at the Grand Canyon! Woo! Look at this. It's raining. <laughs> but look. Whoa. So we just finished eating some breakfast. Um, we are planning on going on a hike today, but it is currently really rainy. So I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. But just a little update. We're in the Grand Canyon. So big. There's still rain puddles left over. <laughs> Look at that. 
Got some history. Vercamp Curio Store. Inspired by Grand Canyon's burgeoning tourism trade, in 1898, John Vercamp established a small tent shop on the South Rim, selling American Indian arts and crafts. Profits proved meager. I don't know how to say that. So John sold his inventory to the Brightonville Hotel and closed the shop. Returning in 1905, John built the permanent store you see today. His business prospered, indeed. It was, only, it was his only business to survive the Great Depression. In, in 1936, John, his wife, and their four children moved into the apartment above the store. John managed the store until his death in 1944. His children and eventually his grandchildren operated the store. When it closed in 2008, it was the last echo of the canyon's pie and nerve business. Wow. Awesome. So over here, feel free to pause the video and check it out. Wow. Yep. But oh my goodness, look at that. So this supposedly is actually Ver Camp story, but look at that. Alright. Off to the next place. This is truly awesome. Amazing and awesome. How big that is on the road. Oh my god, that's Hold huge. <laughs> you guys think I'm driving. You have to stop. No, it's actually not hard to slow it down. Check out this guy. Whoa. Yeah, it kind of needs to back off. Uh, it's like two pictures. I'm gonna oh. climb right in front of the car. <laughs> there you go. Zoom in. Man.
There's some people boating down there. Oh, wow. There's pontoon boats. Pontoon boats. There's a kayak, too. The water appears nice and fresh. All right. Off to the next stop. We're in the rain. <laughs>